So extension assignment, uh, you know, this is uh, becoming more and more common with with our customers. We have you know customers moving between offices or having a pool of employees that aren't always in the office, so they want to have two or three or four cubicles that people can just come in and sit on. And I've actually just had a conversation with a customer, you know, in Portland about this is they're running out of space in their office building, so they want to have the capability to maybe put a you know a group of cubicles together that different employees can come in and work for the day, but they're not permanent employees at the you know at the building. They're remote employees or work from home or sales reps. So they want to have just a group of of phones that are just not assigned to anybody. So this, if you have phones that aren't assigned to anybody, it's e it's actually one step easier for extension assignment. Because as you can see from the screen here, if I walk up, so here's my one disclaimer. It does need to be a 480 or 485 of the new 400 series phones. On the 200 series, if you have 230s or 212s or 560s or 565s or you know those phones, they do have the capability to do hot desking, but it's through the voicemail system. So you have to have a voicemail, and you log into your voicemail box, and you can assign a phone or unassign a phone via the, the voicemail system. On the new phones, that was one big feature that the customers wanted. So Shortel added the capability to do hot desking built into the 400 series phones a lot easier. So that's my one disclaimer is that as you're buying new phones or replacing phones in your company, I would definitely buy 400 series phones. They have visual voicemail instead of you know just regular, you know, dial-in voicemail, but you get the, the hot desking features, and the pricing is pretty much, you know, it's, it's pretty close to identical to what the 200 you series also, phones So with the 400 series phones, you get presence built in to the display on the 400 series, 480 to 485, um, where you can hit the directory and you can actually see um, presence status, which is nice. So that, the visual voicemail and the, the, the ability to assign extensions from the display is some of the nicest yep. features. Plus, they all have it. they have eight buttons, programmable buttons. Yeah. So, as I walk up to you know to a, a 400 series phone, you can see that this is a picture from my display sitting uh, you know on my desk. I just took it with my with my iPhone. You can see that this is assigned to me permanently. If this wasn't a permanently assigned phone, it wouldn't say Chris on the top. It would actually say anonymous. And where the button says pick up, you would actually see an assign button there. So that actually takes one step out of this. In this case. I don't see an assign button because it's somebody it's, it's it's my phone. So if the user wanted to log into this phone, they would walk up to my desk and they would press the options button. So like I said, is instead of pressing the options button, you would just hit the assign button directly if it was an unassigned phone. So if you had a whole group of of these phones, when I hit the options button, I'm going to get a, a a screen pop up. It's asking me for the voicemail password. Sometimes this confuses users that they have to put the voicemail password in for that user. And it's a little misleading. You do see the little assign button down in the bottom left-hand corner. If I just simply press the button under assign, it actually bypasses the voicemail password. I don't need to know Chris's voicemail password in order to, to assign my extension to his, to, to his phone. So you simply ignore the voicemail, hit the cancel or the assign button. If you hit cancel, it just takes you back to the main screen. So I can si simply hit the assign button right here. And it'll, it'll take me to the next screen. The next screen is going to take me to the assigned user, and this is how we build. You, you know, we're assigning users to, to permanent phones and stuff too, or just allowing you know users to take over a phone. So extension number, I keyed in seven five three five, which is my same extension. But and then I need to know the voicemail password of that user. If it's a brand new user, their voicemail password is going to be one two three four. So as I key in whatever the voicemail password, I hit the OK button, or I can do the backspace if I type wrong. And then it's going to say, you know, please wait while we, you know, re reassign your extension to this telephone. If it's a brand new user, you will get another pop-up after this that says, hey, please pick a permanent voicemail password because we want them a new, we want a new user to permanently pick a new password. It will let them cancel out of that, but every time they do this, they will get prompted to pick a to pick a new password, or every time they check their voicemail, they will get prompted to pick a permanent voicemail password every time they're assigning their user. So once I hit the OK button here, this user on the screen will change to whatever user I'm logging into. So pretty quick process. I either hit the assign button on an unassigned phone, or I hit the options and assign. I put in my information, hit OK, the, the phone becomes mine. 
So I work for a day, and then a lot of people ask me, well, how do I get back? What if I forget to unassign my extension, and, you know, and, and, and Chris comes back, and I'm logged into his phone? In my communicator client, I can select primary phone, and that will move my extension back to my desk. Or if I'm at my actual phone, I can simply do the exact same thing. I can hit options, assign, and put my information back in and take my phone back over. It will send that user back to their default phone. Or if they don't have a default phone, it'll just send their calls to voicemail, you know, until they reassign themselves to a to a, a default phone. The other thing I can do is if I'm looking to, you know, stop using this phone, if it's not my default phone, I'll actually have an unassigned button right where it says clear on the bottom of the screen. There'll actually be an unassigned button there. I simply click that button, and it'll move my extension off of the person's phone and become their their own phone again. So very easy to unassign phones. Like I said, the, the, comp the customer in Seattle that we have with the, you know, the 40 phones or so, the users hit the, hit the assign button, they log in, and when they're done with their shift in their call center, they simply hit the unassigned button, and it takes their extension back off, the, off of it, and it goes back to an anonymous phone ready for another user to log in into that phone. So the, the, the nice feature about this in using the Fortnite Series phone is we have another customer in Portland that's, a, that's a, a medical clinic, and they've been using this feature for their doctors and their, and their nurses, but they've been buying voicemail boxes because the, on the 200 Series phones, they have to have a voicemail box to assign their extension. By moving to 400 Series phones, they're able to save the additional you know, $60 on a voicemail license for those users who don't need voicemail and uh, still allow them to assign their extension on the 400 series phones without having a voicemail box for the users who don't, who don't need it. So that's another advantage of being able to use the quick assign capability.